Welcome! Today you are going to be getting your skin into Blender for anything you want. The major difference between this tutorial and literally every other one is you're going to be getting the second layer of your skin as well as the first one. Without further ado, let's hop right into the first step. Go into the description below and click the first link which will bring you to the Minecraft Blender rig. Here you're going to want to scroll down and click this download right here. Once it finishes downloading, just head over to your downloads folder and unzip the file. Great, now we're done here. Alright, when you open Blender, you should see this screen right here. Simply click behind this little box, and you should be met with the default cube. Now there is only one thing you do with a default cube. Destroy. 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 Now that we have a fresh project, let's go ahead and get the player model in. Head up to the top left where it says File. Now click and head down to where it says Append. Here is the file view. You're going to want to head to Downloads or wherever you unzip that file. It should start with Cycles, so just go ahead and double click that file. Now don't get scared by all these, we only need one thing out of this. So simply scroll down and browse through these until you find Minecraft Simple Rig Blend. Opening it up, we have more folders, but don't worry. Just double click where it says Collection. In this file, there is only one option so double click on character. Most of the hard work is already done. First thing you want to do though is head up to the very top right and click on viewport shading. Clicking this icon will give you a Steve. Now hold down middle mouse and drag in order to move your camera view around. Of course there's a major issue here. Steve probably isn't you. Unless you're a noob. So let's really quickly fix that. Click directly on Steve here, and head over to the bottom right. You'll see these colorful little buttons here. You're going to want to click on this red circle. Now, follow the steps here very carefully. Here where it says skin, you're going to want to head over until you see this odd little box thing. Go ahead and click on that. You should be given this small menu where you should pick the second option. Now you are presented with an error. Do not worry, this is intentional. Click out of the error and now you should have a folder icon. Click on the folder icon and go to wherever you have your Minecraft skin. Right here is mine, this will be your skin or whatever skin you're trying to model. Okay, great, and here I am in all of my glory. Okay, yeah, there's an issue. Head to the tab directly above, this green triangle. We don't need either of these groups, so you can just collapse them. Make this simple on yourself. Here where it says UV maps, collapse the menu, and you should see old 1.8 and plus 1.8. Go to where this little x out camera is, and make this the render. It should swap the bottom one to an X and make this a little camera icon instead. As you can see, it is now rendering correctly. But we need to get the second layer. Here in the top right, you should have this little menu. Simply collapse and uncollapse the menus with the arrows. Opening up the bones menu, we have two very important things in here. Here where it says second layer, you're going to want to again hit the X'd out camera. Now it should be a full camera activating your second layer. You won't see it though. You'll only see it in your final render. I don't know why. Now go down to where it says Steve hat. Once again, if you still have the green triangle open, go ahead and mark the plus 1.8 skin so it maps correctly. Now head down back to the red sphere and here you'll be met with a slightly more confusing menu. Don't worry though, right here next to where it says diffuse, you're going to want to collapse this bottom menu, and here you are met with a familiar sight. All you have to do is hit this little PNG icon here, and collapse this menu, and then select your skin once again. The final thing we have to do is go down to setting in this menu. Right down here is settings, so let's just scroll down, and you should see blend mode, shadow mode, and all this good stuff. All you need to do is click where it says opaque next to blend mode. 
in this menu, change it to alpha clip. Just like that, it should be able to render correctly. Now let's set up your light and your camera. Using middle mouse, we can see our camera is currently way up here. So what you're going to want to do is go up to view in the top left and go all the way down until you see camera and click active camera. This will give you the viewpoint of your camera. Let's go ahead and hit this orange square right here to mess around with the settings a little. Really quickly, I'm going to go into location and just set these numbers over to zero. Once you make it to the rotation on the x-axis, you'll probably want it facing about 90. These are just some very basic settings. Continuing on, we're going to set all the rest over to zero. Let's go ahead and move it along the y-axis. Click and hold and drag your mouse over to the left. That should go ahead and zoom it out. Using the X, Y, and Z, you can edit each of the coordinates of your camera until it properly frames you. Perfect. You can go back and edit this at any time through the exact same methods. Go ahead and click with your middle mouse to exit this menu. Next, you're going to want to edit the light. It's included with the skin right up here if you zoom out enough. Let's go over to the very left of the screen where you have these options, move, rotate, and scale. We're going to take and just move this. Now simply just fiddle around with these arrows and move it all the way over to about your camera, or at least that's what I like to do. You can actually play around with the lighting a lot more if you want. Because you've just done that, you should have the light currently selected. So let's go back over to our toolbox where we want to click the little green light bulb. Right now, we don't know what the light is doing. So we're going to go back up to the top right and click this very shiny little icon here. This will render it with light included. At the moment, I'm fairly bright, but if you want to darken or brighten your scene, all you have to do is drag this up to make it very bright or drag it down to make it very dark. I'm going to go for a fairly nice and bright scene, something about like that. All we need to do is pose your character. If you click directly on these odd little gray objects, you'll be brought into the Bones character. Go up to the top left and where it says object mode, click to collapse this menu and click pose mode. This will allow you to individually edit each of these limbs. All you need to do is click on the individual bone, go up to where it says rotate on the left side, and you'll be given these three axes to rotate it whatever way you want. As you can see, we can move the arm out or even just move it back like that. This is a very flexible posing system, so you can go ham. Do whatever you want this to be. And I personally don't use this, but there's a chance you might. You can take the forearm or the calves here and just bend them up and down as you please. They're a little less flexible, but they allow you to bend your arm like so. Now you may notice that the head is turned slightly away from the camera. I want to be facing the camera, but I also want my head turned in a different direction than the body. For that, go into the back here and select this uh, suspicious part back here. This will allow you to rotate the entire body without any worries of rotating out any of your pieces incorrectly. And there you have it. That is all you need to do. I'll do one last check on the camera to make sure that I am correctly in frame. And if you're happy with everything you've done here, hit the F12 key on your keyboard. This will bring up this quick little render right here. Oh, and there is one last thing I should mention. If you would like this background to be transparent, here's what you do. Closing that window, we're going to want to once again select the camera here in the menu. 
head up to this odd little back of a camera here, the second icon, and click it. In this menu, you're going to want to click Film. In this menu, simply mark the box labeled Transparent. Now, if you hit F12 again, you should have a perfect render. Go up to where it says Image, Save As, and name your document whatever you want. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you've had any issues. I have tried to make this as simple and easy as possible. Anyway, I hope that you guys have had a wonderful time, and I'll be seeing you dudes in the next one. Peace.